Hey everybody, IT Nomad here. I just wanted to do a real quick update video on my new power setup. Um, some things have changed. Nothing's really gone away, but I have added a crucial piece of gear to it. I'm so glad that I did. All right, let's start off at the top of the list that we have. I still have the Anchor Power Core 10,500H. It's a milli, a 10,500 milliamp hour battery. Has one USB A. It's my go-to for things that I need to charge on the go. Um, I charge my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm recording this on right now, probably about five times on one charge. So that's always good to have. Always keep it fully charged. My go-to. Next is my favorite, other favorite one, and it's actually not an anchor. It's from Lenovo. It's their Lenovo USB-C power bank. It's rated at 48 watt hours, and if you look, it's got the, a bunch of connectors on top. I've got two USB-A, a USB-C, and two Lenovo proprietary connectors. Um, one, I believe, is a standard 12 volt out. The other is a Lenovo 35 watt supported uh, out for any of their laptops comes in handy i always keep this one fully charged as well it's really small and it'll run my lenovo x1 carbon pro and my other work laptop which is a t470 so all i need is a USB C cable to run those I always keep that available let me put these here so everyone can see what they are I'm not getting any sponsorship for these, but they're just products that I love. Now, next is the Anchor PowerCore Fusion 5000. This is a standard USB power bank with two USB-A ports on the top. It's got a USB power, but the most important part that I like about this is that it's wall chargeable. I can charge it from the wall. Also, it's got micro USB charging available as well. I was hoping for USB-C, but I think in the next version up from this that, that I'm going to get, they actually have USB-C. But it takes no time to charge, and I can charge my iPhone 11 Pro Max probably about three times on this with no problems whatsoever. So that's the power storage setup. Let's talk about cables for a second. I always carry cables not just for me but for other people because you never know who you're going to run into in the airport what kind of cable they may need so I always care I don't have any gear that uses this except for my camera but I've got a USB a to micro USB cable that I use carry that with me all the time I've got a no name USB C to lightning connector USB C lightning that I use, that I let other people borrow to charge their phones if they're using one of my power banks. The part of my dogs in the background. They're very excited about somebody being over. They're very, very excited apparently. I have an Apple branded and certified USB-C to U lightning adapter, which I use for all my iOS devices, which means it's my iPad, my iPhones, my, and a bunch of other stuff that I have. And last but certainly not least, I've got my Apple Watch charger. I'm looking for a smaller version. I think I might have found a cheapo one on Amazon that I'm going to get and try. But right now, I prefer to use the branded one. Uh, it gives me a chance to set it up, connect it to my power bank, and set it on my nightstand in the event I don't have a power outlet available. Now, let's talk about the case that I have it all in. I currently hold my entire power setup inside of an Evergood Civic Access Pouch 1 liter, also known as a Cap 1 from Evergoods in, out of Bozeman, Montana. It's very robust, it stretches, and it will hold just about anything that I throw at it. Um, and it all fits down in here very neatly, very compactly. 
very, very, very organized. So that's my power setup. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks. This is IT Nomad signing off.